Um, it would be from seven o'clock. Tell your granny, good morning. Time, good morning, granny. From birth, Nathaniel James was always in a race against time. He was diagnosed with type four choleodocalcis, which basically meant that there was a cyst on his biliary tree, his biliary tract, that was stopping the flow of bile from properly running. And because of that buildup, because of that obstruction, it caused Nathaniel's liver to go into a failure state. Jerome and Kiva James' story of their son's painful struggle with type 4 choleodocal cysts two years ago tugged at the heartstrings of many. With the odds stacking against them, a timely approval from the Children's Life Fund afforded little Nathaniel life-saving surgery in Argentina. Today, he's almost unrecognizable. Nathaniel, for surgery, is a new child. He is a new child. He, um, what does he not try to do? For Kiva, her son's second shot at life has been the answer to her prayers. I was just happy so that he was alive, to be very honest. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so know that he was alive. Jerome, who donated piece of his liver to save his son's life, now dreams of his boy paying his miracle forward. I wish he, I wish many things, um, but one, you know, I wish that he becomes a doctor. Uh, the mm -hmm. transplant surgeon mm -hmm. of that. I love a doctor, I should say. The boy's parents are expressing gratitude for the support they received from the public along the way, especially when times became too tough. I have to say thank you, thank you, yeah. thank you so oh, yes. much. The outpouring love that we received, it, it, like, it, it, it lifted us even when we had down moments. Yeah. Yeah. And as Nathaniel now journeys on the road to recovery, both Jerome and Kiva are encouraging parents to never give up on their children. They say despite how hard it may seem, always hold their hand. Jesse Ramdeo, CNC3 News.